So training camp has officially started for the NBA and the Lakers have a really interesting one ahead of them. They have a lot of new players and not a lot of time for everyone to get adjusted and I think there's going to be some competition for some starting spots on the team. So let's go over three training camp battles for the Los Angeles Lakers. And very quickly before we get into it, if you want to see more interesting NBA content just like this, be sure to drop a subscribe as I really do appreciate all your guys' support. So first up for the starting guard spot, I have Dennis Schroeder versus Wesley Matthews and potentially KCP. This is going to be a really tough one as Schroeder recently stated that he expects to start next season and there were rumors that Matthews came to the Lakers if he was guaranteed a starting spot. It's going to be a tough fight and situation for minutes in the backcourt as the Lakers will likely run LeBron, Davis and another big at center with two guards at the 1 and 2 positions. This means one of Schroeder, Matthews or KCP will have to go to the bench and I think it's all going to come down to who fits better with LeBron and Davis. It could be Schroeder if LeBron needs more help in the playmaking department but it could also be Matthews if the Lakers value a 3 point shooter with more size to guard a wider variety of players or KCP for a guy who played well with the starters in the playoffs. Schroeder will likely be best off the bench if the Lakers want a playmaker for the second unit and I think Matthews and KCP would fit better with LeBron in giving more versatility for the unit on the defensive end. Personally, I think in terms of talent Schroeder should easily start but I think Vogel may want him coming off the bench to lead the second unit so my prediction here will be Schroeder comes off the bench while Matthews and KCP start. Next up I have Alex Caruso versus Taylor Horton Tucker. The main question here would be does THT eat into some of Caruso's minutes? Well, Caruso is guaranteed some minutes at least next season and likely about 20 to 25 or so per game, but I do think there's a chance Horton Tucker may eat into some of his playing time if he has a strong training camp and eventual preseason performance. Horton Tucker provides the Lakers with a really long defender who also showed flashes in the playoffs of excellent driving ability. If he can prove to be a consistent 3 point shooter, I could see him taking some of Caruso's minutes but do not get me wrong, I do think Alex Caruso will see a lot of minutes for LA off the bench. And finally, starting in the front court next to Davis, I have either Marc Gasol or Montrezl Harrell. I think this one is pretty clear with Gasol likely starting, as he provides a lot more space for AD on the defensive end of the floor. However, I think it's more going to be a competition of who will see more minutes at the 5, and I have a feeling Harrell will average more minutes. If the Lakers want to keep Gasol fresh for the playoffs, they'll likely only play him about 20 to 25 minutes per game and give Harrell about 25 to 30 minutes per game, and this will be fair in giving both guys a nice amount of playing time. Things may change in the playoffs depending on the matchup, but I do think Gasol will start at center to start the season, with Harrell seeing the majority of the minutes. So that's a wrap, thank you guys all for watching. If you guys did enjoy this video and want to see more daily NBA content just like this, be sure to drop a like and subscribe and also be sure to turn on post notifications so you can stay updated on my newest video will be coming out. Also, be sure to follow me on Instagram and hit me up if you want to talk about basketball or business. Just drop a comment down below my photo or DM me and I'll definitely try to get back to most of you guys there. Drop a comment down below on who you think will win each of these training camp battles. Let me know as I throw all comments, definitely interested to see what I have to say here as well. So, without that being said, once again, thank you guys all for watching. Hopefully, I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.